before we get started with this video, I would just like to say that this video is going to contain probably the biggest spoilers for the book and movie, Me Before You. So if you haven't seen or read either of those and don't want to be spoiled for what happens, thank you so much for stopping by, but we will have to part ways for now, and I will see you in the future. Bye for now, non-spoilers! So I wanted to do a little different sort of video today and talking about kind of a debate that's been going on in the book world, the movie adaption world, and it's the debate surrounding the movie and book Me Before You by Jojo Moe's. The book came out, I'm not quite sure, I should have done my research before starting this, but the movie was just released and has been doing pretty well and has been loved a lot by people. However, there has been some backlash from the disability community for the portrayal of Will Trainer, who is a quadriplegic who in the movie and book is struggling with finding his happiness in his life now that he no longer has capability of his limbs and has to be taken care of by his family and really has no autonomy over himself. He is very unhappy and wants to end his own life and his family agrees that in six months if he is still not happy they will allow him to die via assisted suicide. And what happens is that Will ends up falling in love with his caretaker Louisa in this time frame that he has of the six months left to live. I haven't read the book, but when I looked it up, it did say that Will, even though he loves Louisa, decides to end his life and wants her to go out and have her own adventures and live boldly and leaves her a ton of money so she can travel and do all this fun stuff. And it's, it's a sad ending and it's a very tragic ending and I don't particularly like it. I think part of the problem is that Louisa's story and journey is put above Will's, which is sad because Will's whole thing is he has to learn that you can still love and still live life and still have a good life even if he can't be the adventurous guy that he used to be and unfortunately while Louisa realizes her goal, and I know I'm not saying her name right, I am so sorry but I'm just terrible at pronouncing names, while she realizes her goal, unfortunately Will still dies and that has been the biggest controversy in the disability community and I haven't really heard a lot of people talking about it since the book and the movie are getting so much attention and I just wanted to kind of shed upon it because it's a big factor for me in not wanting to read the book or the movie. Will's whole thing in the way it's presented to some people is that he is a burden on his family. They have to stay with him, they have to feed him, he's not happy, he's grumpy, he's complaining and I've heard criticisms that it's presented as kind of like, okay, now like this burden of having to take care of our son, our brother is gone from us and we can go live our lives. And Louisa especially has this whole thing where she's supposed to be in love with him and she is in love with him, but is at the same time like, it, it, it's almost like he has to die so she can have her life. Like she can't live a full life if she's dating this man and married to this man. The way it's presented I feel like is very, very bad I feel like to the disabled community because I've read stories of people that are like, hey, what happens if a young person or a person who's feeling rather depressed or unhappy who's disabled is watching this and seeing how Will is presented as sort of a burden on his family and how he decides to end his life and everyone is not happier for it but I mean that everyone kind of can move on with their lives without him in it. What kind of message does that show to people who may be struggling with their own identities? And also the representation. I understand this is a Hollywood movie and we want to put our best foot forward as we always do with Hollywood movies but Sam Cliflin does not, Cliflin, I did not say that right, he does not look like a person who has been in a wheelchair for two years. I've discussed this with my friends before. He looks very fit, very put together, very tan. He does not at all look like what you would expect someone to and how does that also make you feel when someone like as gorgeous as he looks in a wheelchair is like I'm still not happy with my life I'm never gonna be happy with my life how does that make a normal looking person feel Honestly, the biggest problem I have that's really deterring me from the movie is the director's defense I guess in going with this ending that they said it was the brave ending to do it this way and that's a really douchey thing to say. I'm hoping against hope that they misspoke. I don't necessarily think saying that Will killing himself is the brave thing to do because it's not at all. I feel like the brave thing and the harder thing would be to have him live and have him struggle and have him have his bad days and have Louisa help him through and him help Louisa through her bad days. I read this thing one time after Hunger Games came out when a lot of people were surprised Katniss didn't die and I think it's from Buffy the Vampire Slayer too but it's something basically like dying is easy. Living is the hard thing. Like that's that's the real suffering so to make your character live and 
go through all the shitty crap you have to put up in life, that's the hard thing. And so that would be the brave choice to me is to have Will live and have him struggle with being who he is. But he's still going to find happiness and he's going to find himself with Louisa. To me, there's just really no reason why Will needed to die other than to make a dramatic ending that people are going to be talking about and for that reason I just am not really comfortable reading me before you or seeing it which really sucks because I know so so many people like it and it does have really good messages about Louisa and kind of her coming into her own and accepting who she is and trying to be more comfortable in her life. I kind of want to make this video just to see everyone else's opinions on it to how like watching the movie and reading the book what kind of opinion you get from Will dying because I knew immediately that I thought that was such a crappy decision. But yeah definitely feel free to leave your thoughts on this kind of controversy about me before you down below and I'm still I still go back and forth every day do I want to see this movie do I want to read the book ultimately right now I'm saying no definitely leave your thoughts on it down below in the comments and if you like this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my channel down below to be able to make all sorts of new videos and I'll see you guys next time bye